Alright then, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. Um, so I rearranged everyone's material already. Um, I gave Steel to Cloud, mostly because I think the Dexterity Boost will help him the most. And... I don't want to be wasting Tifa's turns if I'm going to be putting her in the front. Um, so Eris is decked out with all the magic, with all lightning for these enemies in the first area. And I've got Sense and Morph on Tifa so that hopefully she can morph some enemies into whatever I can get from them. I decided to go with the Bronze Bangle for Tifa for the extra defense right now. I might change this around later, but for the moment that's what I'm going with. Cloud, on the other hand, gets the Mithril Armlet because he's in the back, so he'd probably prefer the stat boost. Um, and I'd prefer a Mithril Armlet for Iris as well, but I don't have a second one, so that's gonna be ha that's gonna have to be good enough. All right, so now that I actually know how to get navigate this area, I'm gonna just walk to the end of it. Getting a pretty good run without a battle here. I thought I saw something glowing for a second, but it just looks like steam from that thing. I don't know what it is exactly, or maybe just water brushing up against it. Alright, so I'm just gonna dump an all lightning on these guys right away. Hopefully it doesn't kill them in one hit, because then I can't morph anything from them. But if it does, that's... I mean, it still killed them in one hit, so I can't complain too loudly. Alright. I'm gonna use that turn to try and steal. Didn't get anything. I want to see how much these guys have left, approximately. 70. Okay. So if I were to do an all-fire with Cloud, that might set them up perfectly. I'm not really wasting resources. Ow, crud. That sucked. I didn't want Tifa to be crit. Did that trigger her grit? No, it didn't. Alright, I'm just going to limit break one because I need to get one of them out of the way. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. She can do 50 damage with a limit break even if it's not the good version. Healer back up. I'm just going to have Cloud hit this one. Get rid of it. Then I can hopefully try and steal from this thing while I'm morphing it. I really shouldn't have been in the menu so much there. Yeah, I should probably have tried to just wipe everything a little bit faster. And then start stealing at this point, but whatever. Managed to get that off in time. Um, I guess I'll do Cloud. Even though Tifa's the more vulnerable one. Let's see what I got, Ink. Oh, that's not so great, I don't think. It's just gonna be like an attack and blind. And I, does that even affect the enemies? I don't even think it did. I think that's what the beginner's hall said, if I recall correctly, that blind just doesn't work on the enemies. Uh, inflicts fury. Okay, I guess that would make more sense because that would actually do something. So would I use that on myself? Or the enemies? Whatever. Alright, we got one of the crab guys this time. Okay, so using what I know from last time, I'm gonna have Tifa attack. Wait, is Tifa still in the back, or...? No. Why was she, like, barely stronger than Cloud? Aw, oh, crud. That's really unfortunate. I'm gonna heal her. I wa really want to remove that mute, because it'll make a huge difference in making this battle go faster. Uh, 
I don't have a lot of echo drops, but I think it's worth it in this case. I'll be able to buy some more probably. Aw, oh, come on, did she get muted again? Things are targeting her like a homing missile. I'm just gonna cross slash this Sahagan. I think it can take it out in one. And then I'll healing wind. There we go. That just sucks a lot, but whatever. And I'll hit it again. I'll morph the last guy, because I'd prefer the Bolt Plume. I'm not really losing any resources right now, so... Just because of Eris' attacking. Okay, so... I'll just sense it right away. And of course something crit Tifa again, which is just plain annoying. Weak against Bolt. I think this should fall into a nice range. Dang it, I killed it. Well, whatever. It's not too big a deal. I probably want to drop a potion on Tifa, because at the start of the battle is the last time that I don't want her healed, so... Climb the ladder. Now we're almost in the graveyard section, I think. Yeah, right here. Which means... I might switch the Osmos material. I might switch the Fire and Lightning materials around so that Iris has the All-Fire. doesn't matter which one of them has which of these materials, so, uh... Not at this point anyway, not until some of them have actually gained levels. Alright, so let's just save that there. This time I actually have a backup save. Let's grab that item first, I suppose. Is this the way on? I think this is the way on. I know that I want to check in that barrel first before I go anywhere else, because there's more goodies in there. I think fire might be strong against these crypt shays, or whatever they're supposed to be. Alright. Whoa. Okay, that was almost perfect. I can probably just morph this guy. Nice. That's perfect. <laughs> Free ether, basically. can probably morph this guy too now. That was really convenient because one died and the other didn't, so it's like, oh, this guy must have basically single digit HP now. Man, steel does not work. I much prefer morph, since morph actually does something. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll hit it with cloud because that'll set it up. Hey, I finally got something. Phoenix down, that's pretty solid. I'll take it. Alright, it has nothing else, so I'm just gonna burn Cloud's turn to defend. Probably doesn't matter since Iris will just heal up whoever gets hurt, but... Uh, I guess she can use Osmos instead. I don't know if this thing actually has any MP, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> well, I depleted its HP. MP. Grab a ball. Um, is there anything I can actually make use of that? I don't know. I don't know if, like, what I'll be doing with that in the near future, but I don't have Demi yet. High Potion, sweet. Okay, so yeah, the other way was the way on. Let's just save it again. You never know. I'd prefer not to repeat that stuff, thanks.
Alright, so I see a thing up there. I want to get down on this train car. I think this might be the way on? No. I don't think this way brings me to anything. And I'll get that item just before I get out of here, so I don't need to think about it. Alright. This is why I have the fire magic, because the ghosts. I don't think I'll try to morph these guys. I don't remember exactly how they work. And I mean, they're ghosts, so they're probably not going... You know what? I'm going to have her defend. I'm going to wait until they all appear again and then just hit them with my bolt all. Assuming Cloud doesn't get silenced. Eh, he got silenced. He might counter that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I think sense will probably work regardless, so I'll just hit that one with it. 65. Weak against fire and holy. That's kind of what I expected. Um, I kind of don't want to waste that in a case like this. I wonder if this will invert. No, it doesn't invert. About a hundred damage. So that should be perfect. If I do two normal attacks, I think I can... I think it'll live. <coughs> mm, not quite. It's MP is gone, so it's not really much of a threat. Let's just... Nah, just a little bit too much. Whatever. Alright, so do I come down here? Oh, this comes down here. No, that's hanging over it. I guess I can just go the other way. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Now I go up to this barrel didn't realize earlier that I could come down this way. Ooh, that's nice. Let's just eliminate one. Osmos the other. Dang, that was powerful. Yep, I got all of its MP that time. Pretty solid. I'll just have virus defend, I suppose. Dang it, I was trying to target Cloud, but I missed. <laughs> it wasn't even that Iris missed, it's just I missed. Alright, another grab a ball. If these come in handy, they might come in really big handy, so. Like, for example, if I can use it against Heligunner or something, since he's flying, it might work against him. And that would just be perfect. I don't think there's anything anywhere else. So I think I'm climbing over here. Amazing that the lights are still on in these trains. Potion. I'll take it. Every little bit helps, including whatever that is.
Alright, there's a couple more of them this time. I don't think they're weak to either of these, but... Alright, this should take out one. Goodbye to you. And now Mishi gets a limit boost. Woot. Let's keep Demo at high HP at all times. Since the one in the back so Cloud can attack the one in the front without worrying too much. Nice dodge. Wow, great work, Cloud. I guess I'll just burn this one. This is pretty solid. I think it'll only take two hits to take this one down now. Oh, that hurt. I'm assuming it was Wind Elemental and not a physical attack, because... That would be a lot of damage for Cloud to be taking on Defend. Cool. I'll take Element Break, especially for Tifa, because that's just basically extra damage. It's not even a choice, since I get to use them both. It will be a choice at the higher limit levels, but I'll probably just go with all of the limit breaks anyway, because, I mean, seriously. <laughs> it would be kind of lame to just, oh, uh, ignore her limit breaks. Alright, let's get back in this thing. I think I remember how this puzzle works. Now I drive the other train forward. And then I can jump from one train to the other as well as grab the item. High potion. I don't ha I, di I don't think I bought any of those, so the fact that I'm finding a few is actually really nice. I'm going to wait a second, because I might get a free ether out of this if uh, fire hits for the right amount of damage. Nice. <laughs> That's just so perfect. And Aether's a pretty solid reward, too, so... I'm just gonna burn this guy. I've got the MP. You know what? Just die. Gravit Balls are probably the worst of the rewards I'm getting around here, so... I mean, unless they do happen to work on a boss that I want them to work on, but... I'm not gonna count on that. Alright, we're almost out of here. This is the area we could've actually walked into earlier, if we wanted to. Hello, guy. Don't throw your life away, dude. You're one of the few people who can actually escape this place. And you might be able to help other people escape for that matter.
Goodbye, Wedge. Alright, now here's where I need to use my resources, because Iris is gone for a little. Oh, cool. Was this here in vanilla? Cures Fury and Cures Sadness. Interesting that it's worded that way. Do they still have their original effect of uh, actually inflicting sadness and inflicting fury? Let's try using this on Tifa and experiment. Okay, so maybe it was like that in vanilla and I was just imagining that there might be a difference. Either way, having Tifa on Sadness is probably helpful, given that she struggles to stay alive more than anyone else. Alright, so, Flying Propeller guys. Oh, he's got two Lightning, I'm stupid. Uh, I, I got all of Eris' Tifa back. All of Eris' Tifa, great. All of Eris' Materia back. So the question is, what do I want to do with it? I'm not wasting a materia slot on heal right now. Cloud should have Osmos for sure. I don't have Bio for Reno yet, but I do have a couple deadly wastes I want to chuck at him, so we'll be doing that. Um, he's only going to have one element to play with, which... But there's only, like, one enemy type up here, and I can't hit the boss's weakness, so that's okay. I suppose I could give him cover as well, but... Eh. I'm not wasting a slot on this. I could give her revive. But that seems a little weird. Obviously, I don't want to give Tifa cover. Um, hmm. It'll actually take longer for heal to reach the le next level than revive. That's interesting. Because life 2 is pretty dang powerful. But I would prioritize this, especially since I could actually use life. I'd. Or I could give her Barrier All. That would be a good idea, too. Just shove the All on here. Yeah, there we go. She doesn't even need the magic, so who cares about that? Um, and then Restore, because that's actually useful. Alright, I think that's good. Barrier All, especially for the boss. And then we've got... I could probably remove this lightning, it's just going to be shooting me in the foot. Um, that's what I think anyway. So in that case, perhaps I could use cover. He'd lose some MP. Ugh. I don't want him covering for Barret during the boss fight, that just seems silly. Because Barret's the tanky guy. I'll just give Cloud... Actually, I get to swap before the boss fight, but whatever. Cloud's got Osmos, so Revive could be completely free while Phoenix Downs are still costing money. Uh, this doesn't cost a lot for me to do, so let's do it. Get some of those. I'm kind of hesitant to buy the grenade still. It's buy enough tranquilizers to kit out a whole party. 
Um, yeah, I'll save the rest. Alright, time to climb that pillar. Hopefully it goes well. I could also chuck the grab balls at these guys if I really wanted to. It'd be a shame to throw them all away so quickly, but... They, they, they'd be weak to it since they're flying. Let's see how strong these guys are actually. Ouch, that hurt. These things are no joke. Wow, he's dead already. He's supposed to be the tankier of the two. Oh, th those are only demi. I was hoping they were demi two. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. The fact that they all attacked Mishu is really bad. Because getting him on his feet is going to be basically impossible. I'm surprised she's taking so much less damage. Uh... This is going to be a stall fest, but I think there's a chance I can win it. It's too bad that the limit break is going to fly off in a random direction. But I get it for free, so whatever. That's... okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm starting to think Vitality does a bit more than... I felt it did the first time around. I don't know if the mechanics have been changed at all. The sadness certainly helps, of course, but... Alright, he's on the floor now. As long as he doesn't crit me or something, I think I'm good to go now. I'm not going to try to revive Cloud or Morph. I'm just going to kill him. Dang it. I thought he'd be dead from that. Well, that went horribly, but Tifa still pulled through for me somehow. Those things were pretty darn scary after the last dungeon of things that died really easily and didn't do much. I kind of want Cloud at full after that last fight. Yeah, the difference in defense is 19 to 45, plus sadness, but they were taking around the same amount even though Tifa was in the front. That's interesting. Or perhaps front row isn't as bad as it used to be. I don't know exactly. Alright, here we go. I guess I only had to fight one of those guys on the way up. Oh, well, I spoke too soon, because I couldn't find the entrance to the next area. Oh, hey, there's a different enemy here. Um, 
I guess I can try Bolt. I'm not sure if these count as a machine type enemy. Well, it certainly knocked him onto the floor, so. Um, bolt again. Okay, cool. Alright, now let's set this guy up to morph him. By himself, he's not gonna be too threatening. Plus, I may get my limit break worked up in the meantime. Oh, apparently, Clouds just out of commission. That sucks. 245 HP. That might be a solid amount for Tifa to do in two hits and then morph. That's an unfortunate amount of HP for it to have left. His MP is gone though, so it doesn't look like there's much it can do at this point. I'll be able to open up on Reno with a cross slash, so that's pretty solid. A grenade, oh boy. Thank goodness for steel, guys. Let's use cure. That's basically free. I should have done this when I was healing in the menu, to be honest. Worth it? Neither. Okay, I'll take it. Cloud has Osmos, and... Tifa's MP probably doesn't matter that much. Wow, the gunfire. I needed to have that this entire time. Uh, hello, Barrett. Alright, so here's the question. What is Reno's gimmick gonna be? Because every boss so far has had something to shake it up and I'm assuming it's something to do with his pyramids. Alright. So I'm gonna give Barrett the Titan Bangle for his strength plus 10. I think he can handle the drop in vitality. He's got more than enough vitality. His defense is over Tifa's, and he's also in the back, so... Then again, I guess I haven't equipped him with anything else yet. But the cover will just increase it. It's so nice to get that on him. I really want to get this thing trained up as well, to increase the, ch the odds of it working. And eventually to get more, because stacking these things will be very useful. I suppose he'll be getting heal. I might want to shove all barrier on him. Ugh, nah. I'll, I think I'll leave that on Tifa. Barrier can take sense. And then ice, I think, because that's falling behind. All is only good when paired with Restore or something. I don't want to put this on Tifa. I don't want to put an all set up on Tifa because dropping her magic kind of defeats the entire purpose of it. And again, Cloud's magic isn't huge either. And he's actually going to be using it for attacking. Um, I 
who knows, maybe Rena would use a status effect of some kind, so maybe I can use all heal. It might be completely worthless, but it might also be useful somehow. And ice is just there for the leveling, of course. I don't want to put too much magic on Barret, since I don't want to drop his vitality at all. Um, Fire already has a lot of AP, so I'm going to give her Earth. Alright, I think that's a pretty decent setup. So yeah, 57, 42, 19. Let's see how that does it for me. I can't do anything to protect against Reno's electricity. How much do ethers actually heal? Because I've got a bunch of... oh, 200. And no, I don't want to just drop them in the menu then. That's way too much to waste. Um, the other question is, perhaps I want to drop a spider silk on him? Spider web? Especially since this boss is at the top of a giant staircase. Hmm. A, a case could definitely be made for that. But I th I'm already dropping the deadly waste on him, so let's just roll with the deadly waste. I think it doesn't matter who throws them either. I think it's the same regardless of the user's magic stat who throws an item, unless that's been changed, but Cloud's not missing enough HP for it to matter. I think that's ready. It's cool that they can let you open the menu in a cutscene in this game. Especially since it's a pretty good warning. Alright, so let's hope this Deadly Waste comes in handy. I'm also going to cross slash him immediately. Nice, and it poisoned him too. Although, that might just cause him to heal himself. But I don't know, Bio isn't available for this battle, so maybe it's not taken into consideration. Let's sense him so I know what I'm up against. These things are only going to get worse as I go along, so see ya! <laughs> if I just save them for longer, it's just going to be pointless. Uh, let's try stealing. Bolt Plume, that'll be handy for the next boss. And I'm surprised that actually worked. I probably can't morph him in any into anything, so let's just start smacking him. <laughs> this might be a little too little too late, Reno. I don't even think I need to worry about that. He's so close to dead. Oh no, not Tifa's magic. What will I do? Sheesh, that was ridiculous. That went really well. <laughs> Thanks there, Buster, for those deadly wastes, allowing me to murder the next boss. And now Reno gives me a bolt plume to murder some other bosses. I suppose I could have also saved a deadly waste for Rufus instead. Because, you know, Rufus is... one-on-one, -on -one, so getting a huge amount of damage off on him right away is pretty helpful.
and a piece of rock lands on Cloud crushing him. The end. Barrett, of all people, had a good idea. That's insane. Whee! With only seven or eight more terrorist groups, I assume that President Shinra would crush the entire city and then have no one left to rule over. I see that materia too. Wonder what it is. Alright, I think I'm going to run back to Walmart it so that I can save. Oh, it's not letting me. Well, I guess I gotta... I better not run into a battle at this point. Okay, good. Well, that was completely irrelevant. Can I go back now? Yay. Counterattack. Nice. Okay, this is something I'll give to Barrett right away. Now, I'm curious if the boosts on this thing uh, are going to be designed to mess with the counter stacking tactic. Strength and magic get subtracted, and dexterity is added. Interesting. I wasn't expecting a dexterity boost of all things. But yeah, strength makes it harder to s stack these things because uh, if he loses 5 strength for every one he puts on, if he puts on 10, there goes all his strength. I mean, that'll increase as the game goes on, but still. 
For the moment, though, having a bit of extra dexterity will make a huge difference. Because his dexterity is single digits before applying before applying that thing, so... Alright. Let's run back to Wall Market and save. Do am I have I taken any damage? Should I yeah, I should probably stay at the inn. Cloud got rehealed, but no one it didn't bother rehealing anyone else, so Here we go. Alright then. I think that's good for the moment. See you next time.